Hi, hello. This is Anub. Today we are going to talk about February 2024 Patch Tuesday. We are going to look into non-issues, fixed issues, and version details. How to deploy patches using SSEM, WSUS, and Intune. And we are also going to discuss about automation in patching. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. So let's look into February 2024 Patch Tuesday details. We are going to look into zero day vulnerabilities that Microsoft published today as part of February 2024 past Tuesday. Windows 10 11 updates fixes non issues with this past Tuesday. And then we are quickly going to see Intune and SSCM method to deploy patches, manual way to download the patches, and next level of automation in patching. So let's look at two zero day vulnerabilities which are published by Microsoft for February patch Tuesday 2024. As per the report from Microsoft Security Response Center MSRC, there are two zero day vulnerabilities SVE 2024-21412 that is Internet Shortcut Files Security Feature Bypass Vulnerability and SVE 2024-21351 that is Windows Smart Screen Security Feature Bypass Vulnerability and there are 73 other flows which got released published by Microsoft on 13th February 2024 Patch Tuesday. These are the version details of February 2024 patch Tuesday. So once the patch is installed on your devices, you would be able to see this particular version for Windows 11. That is Windows 11 23 H2 10 0 22 63 1 31 55. And for 22 H2 version of Windows 11, the version number is 10 0 22 62 1 31 55. And there are two versions for Windows 10 as well as you can see over here 22H2 and 21H2 22H2 version is 10.0.1.9.0.4.5.3.9.3.0 and this is the KB number for that KB5034763 this is the KB article for February past Tuesday 2024 for Windows 10 devices or Windows 10 operating system and this is the patch for Windows 11 operating system which got released on February 2024 past Tuesday that is KB5034765 KB5034765 these are the fixes that Microsoft released as part of Windows 11 patch this month so this list is very long I'm not going to cover all the details but you can see some of the highlights over here 7-zip related issue is fixed and then Wi-Fi protected access related issue is also fixed with this patch Tuesday and this patch added a renewed signing certificate option for secure boot and this update ensures that smart card icon appears during sign-in despite multiple certificates Bluetooth audio and some of the Bluetooth audio related issues are also fixed with this patch Tuesday for Windows 11 devices. Now let's look into Windows 10 fixes as part of February patch Tuesday. Single function printer issue is fixed now. Internet Explorer shortcut related issues are also fixed. Keyboard language related issues also fixed with this patch Tuesday. And there are some Active Directory related issues along with IPv6 that is also fixed with this past Tuesday. There were some issues with local users and groups CSP in Windows that is also got fixed with February 2024 patch Tuesday patches for Windows 10. There are some known issues with Windows 11 and Windows 10. Some of them are old issues like BitLocker. Microsoft is still working on a permanent resolution for this issue but there are workaround solutions that Microsoft already provided for this issue and other issue with Windows 11 is that 
Intel Smart Sound Technology Drivers Compatibility Issue As per Microsoft, mitigation is already in place but the permanent solution is going to come soon and there are some Windows 10 known issues some of them are repeated for Windows 10 as well so it is common for Windows 10 and Windows 11 Locate set issue for Croatia etc is still there this prep related issue is there even after up updating this patch Tuesday patches Windows 10 devices will see this issue and there are some other issues known issues as well which are not fixed with February 2024 patches let's see how do we deploy patches using SSEM there are different ways to deploy patches using SSEM I will link the videos over here if you click on I button in YouTube you would be able to see that videos which explains end-to-end -end process of SSEM patching how to create patch pack how to create patch packages etc 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 now let's look into Intune way of deploying patches there are different ways to deploy patches using Intune if there is any zero day vulnerability and you need to immediately patch Intune managed devices you can use this method expedite installation of quality updates otherwise you don't need to do anything because I assume that you have already set up a monthly reoccurring monthly recurring policy for managing the patches for different workloads within your organization more details are available in the i button if you click on i button you will get in tune patching related videos in detail and you can check the description of the video as well to get more details on in tune patching process now let's look into manual way of downloading the patches you need to log into catalog you know you need to open catalog.update.microsoft.com and then you can search for 2024 02 2024-02 or something and then click on search button that will get you windows 11 windows 10 patches for february 2020 february 2024 patch tuesday from there you would be able to download the patches what is next windows auto patch that is the end-to-end -end automated mechanism or service provided by microsoft for patching so you don't need to worry about anything as an enterprise admin you just need to hand over the details and things to Microsoft Microsoft will automatically handle end-to-end -end patching as you can see over here so I will link some videos about this also into the description and over here in I button in YouTube I would strongly recommend to go through those now that you have seen all the details about February 2024 patch Tuesday zero day vulnerabilities patches released etc etc hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around